Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Quick Tricks for the MC101. In one of my previous videos, Sam Shields and Bimsi asked about multi-track recording in GarageBand. So in this episode, I will answer their question and take you through how to multi-track record the MC101 in GarageBand. The first thing you need to do is download the drivers for your MC101. Go to the Roland website, hover over products and click Ira and DJ. Click view product for the MC101. Then click downloads and then find the drivers for your operating system. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to select Mac OS. Accept the license agreement and click download. Next, install the driver on your computer. Once it's installed, plug in your MC101, switch it on and open up GarageBand. The next step is to set up the preferences for GarageBand. First, create an empty project and choose record using a microphone or line input. Go to preferences. Go to audio slash MIDI settings. For the input device, choose MC101 as your audio input device. Next, we need to set up the MC101. Bring up the volumes for the tracks you want to record as well as the master volume. Press shift and filter to enter the utility menu. Click system. Scroll to sync source and change that to int. To my knowledge, GarageBand does not have any MIDI sync capabilities with external gear. So this will force the MC101 to listen to its own internal MIDI clock for sync. Back in GarageBand, set your tempo. Then create five audio tracks. One for the master output and one for each of the four tracks of the MC101. Open up the track settings. Change the input to stereo by clicking the circle icon until it appears as two overlapping circles. Change the audio input for each track to stereo pair 1, 2 for the master and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, 10 for the remaining four tracks. Right click on a track and click configure track header. Check input monitoring and record enable. Record enable all of your tracks. I'll set input monitoring to off for all tracks except the master to avoid doubling of the signal. As I mentioned earlier, GarageBand does not have MIDI sync capability. So you will have to press record in GarageBand and press play on the MC101. As I solo through the tracks, you will notice that track 1 contains the master mix, track 2 has the drums, track 3 has my samples, track 4 has my bass line, and track 5 has this really annoying synth line. One thing to note is that only the master tracks on stereo output 1, 2 are impacted by the master effects section of the MC101. The stereo outs of tracks 1 to 4 on output channels 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, 10 are before the master effects section of the MC101. That's it from me. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to T-Break Beats for more videos like this one.